final training question. So just like your gymnastics background, you touched on this a little bit, but American Ninja Warrior is also a huge power to strength ratio. What are some other tips that you have to you know, utilize or work out the power to strength ratio? So it depends, it all depends on where you're starting from. If you don't have a, a background in uh, athletics or gymnastics, then I would say hmm. you have to start small. Great so point, start yes. start small, um, you have to, there are progressions for everybody. Everyone starts in a different spot. So if you wanna get to where you can do clapping pull-ups or a muscle-up, you need to start with regular pull-ups. And mm -hmm. uh, if you can't do those, you know, Jesse Graff just posted a great tutorial on how to build up enough strength to get to a pull-up. So you can put some weight on a chair and do pull-ups and then eventually you're not gonna need that chair. Totally. Um, but for, you know, clapping pull up, you wanna be able to pull, pull up, release bar, clap, catch the bar again and come down. Um, and what that does is uh, it, it really helps build up a lot of explosiveness. Um, it's one of my favorite things. Or I'll set up a bar above, I'll have two bars and I'll pop onto the next one. Awesome. Um, and that's just, that's building, it's building endurance and strength. Yeah. Um, explosive sorry, power. And power. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. So, um, cause explosive power, I mean, you need that. I really need to work on the endurance because I have great explosive power, but it only lasts for so long. <laughs> sure. Um, but it's really important if you get in, uh, if you say you lose, uh, you're starting to lose your grip with, with one hand, being able to quickly lift that other hand up, um, and regain that's just it's just so important for uh, for saves efficiency 